there are a few ways to create or add a new note. First, we can just tap on the New Note button, which is the pencil over a piece of paper icon. And from here, we can just start typing. Notice that the first line of a note is going to appear in large, bold text. Move down a couple lines, and in the body of the note, we have smaller, non-bold text. This will work the same way over on the iPhone. When the keyboard is displayed, we have a format button available across the top. Tap and we can see what text style is currently selected. This will depend on where the cursor is or if any text is selected. Over on the iPad, if I move the cursor up to the first line, we can see that the title text style is applied. Tap on a different style here to quickly change it. In Notes settings, we can adjust what style new notes will start with by default. If I switch this to the subheading style, when a new note is added, that style is used in the first line. Move down a couple lines and the body style is then used again. To continue typing with a different style, tap the Format button before typing your text. We can also make the text that I'm about to type be bold and underlined from here. To adjust a single word or section of text, we need to select it. We can then apply bold, italic, or underlined styles from the contextual menu that appears above or from the Notes Format button. It's not possible to set a different text style for just one word in a line. Styles apply only to full lines of text. Now let's look at a couple other ways to create a new note. From the home screen, tap and hold on the notes icon and we get a new note option. Notice we can also start a new note with a scan, photo, or checklist here. With the New Note button, we're jumped into a new, empty note. It's also possible to quickly create a new note from Control Center. So even from the lock screen here on the iPhone, we can view Control Center and then tap the Notes button here. That creates a new, empty note. If you don't see the Notes button in Control Center, make sure that it's activated in Control Center settings. Next up, we'll look at creating checklists. 